Hey guys, I'm Lee from Lee Likes Music, the place to share, explore, and rate music from Bandcamp. Today I'm going to review one of Chicano Batman's previously released albums, which is called Cycles of Existential Rhyme. So that's coming up. This album consists of 14 tracks. It takes in on a total runtime of 45 minutes. And uh, just like with the newest album, this album is very inspired by Tropical, uh, which is a Latin inspired genre. They're also heavily influenced by psychedelic rock. And there's also influences of soul here as well. First of all, I want to talk about the tracks that I really liked a lot on this album. So for example, track number eight, which is called Bilbao, that is an amazing track. It has this very prominent drive and there's a guitar solo during the intro of the song, which I really enjoy quite a lot. It is a song that is very peculiar. It invites you in, it kind of drags you in. Um, and one of the things that kind of uh, took my attention was this proggy feature. It is very influenced by prog rock. Somewhere in the song during one of the segments, there was this weird, not weird, but a proggy time signature. And that was quite interesting that they wanted to add this in here. Another song that I also liked a lot is the track that has the same name as the album, Cycle of Existential Rhyme. It is changing tempos here and there, and uh, that is something that caters to that prog vibe again. Uh, it is kind of weird, but um, this band is kind of mixing all kinds of different genres, and at times that is good, at times that is bad. Uh, sometimes it feels like they are a bit incohesive. But in other tracks, it is sounding very original and also quite cohesive. So it has some ups and downs. Cycles of Existential Rhyme is definitely a song that kind of nailed this. And uh, they managed to create this very chill vibe. That is kind of the mood that I get from it. It's very chill and easy. I really like the instrumental part of the song. I like the guitar solo. Yeah, in general, it has this feel-good spirit to it. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed that. So I give it a 7 out of 10. The fourth track is called Jalapeno. And um, <laughs> I didn't really rate this as one of the songs that I like the most. But this is definitely one of the more memorable songs. And that is the reason why I might change my mind about how I want to rate it. This, again, is another one of those tempo changer songs. It uh, brings a lot of unexpected melodies to the table. You know, this is a song that is very original. It is very original in terms of the structure because it's very fluid. It changes its tempo, as I told you. Uh, but what makes it less memorable is that some of these parts, some of the segments of the song, feel kind of randomly put together. So in that way, it doesn't, it isn't really that strong. The mood that we get from this track is very light. It is almost comedic, I feel. It's very, very um, uh, exciting at times. And I was going to give this song a 6 out of 10 because I felt like it was kind of weak. But after noticing that, oh, I actually still remember da, 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 the, um, um, the melody of the song, kind of it is sticking to me you know so I want to upgrade it to a 7 out of 10. Now let's jump over to some of the songs that I didn't like off this album for example track number 7 which is called Fantasia. It has this calm and down tempo feel to it and then during the start of the song we hear this very distorted and noisy synth coming in. We can also hear this discordant guitar it sounds pretty weird, kind of wacky and almost whimsical. I get this lazy Sunday morning feel from the song. Uh, it is weird. I don't know if I would ever remember the song. All that I ever can reference it to is the notes that I have on this paper. So that just, yeah, it really didn't cater that much to me. So I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. Another song that was kind of disappointing was the 11th track which is called Magma. You know at first listen I thought this song was kind of curious because it, I was listening to it and I was listening very intuitively so I was listening to it in the background of the other things that I was concentrating on but it managed to drag me out of that state and into a more attentive 
listening experience. This is a very progressive and versatile song, but at the same time, that I, I think that is the main problem that I have with Chicago, Chicago, <laughs> Chicano Batman. It's just too versatile. It is influenced by so many different genres. There are so many things happening. They're singing in Spanish and then English and they're instrumental and then they're not instrumental. And it's like, why? what is going on? And at this point, I just felt like this was another one of those weird, very original, yet weird and versatile songs that are just taking it off the limits, you know? So yeah, from this song, I got a very average listening experience at the end of the day because I don't really remember the song. It's too versatile, too dragged out. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. I'm <laughs> I'm going to put on um, Chicano Batman later on because I want to get to know this band a little bit better. But as of now, it sounds like a band that has a lot of potential. They can develop in a great way. Same with their newest album. Um, they have the potential and they really have a unique style going, but I wonder if they can concentrate it a little bit more and make it so that, I don't know, so that I like it, so that I will like it. <laughs> but as of now, I can't say that I'll give the album more than a six out of 10. So yeah, that's it. Cycles of existential rhymes. Let me know what you guys would rate this album in the comments below. Would you give it a seven, a five, a three, a 10 out of 10? Let me know down there, okay? Also, if you like to share, explore, and rate new music from Bandcamp, then I highly suggest you click that red subscribe button below and put on the notifications in that way you'll always find my videos every single week you can listen to new music explore new stuff and we can rate it together thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you later bye because we just called cycles it is a song that is very peculiar it is a it is a song that is very peculiar it is a song that is very peculiar. Champ, tempo, champ, 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 champ